Assalamualaikum and hello. We are from IIOM and present a video entitled Introduction to Bioinformatics PTP and EMDL EBI. Now, we start with what is bioinformatics or in short bioinfo and why it is important. Bioinfo is an interdisciplinary scientific field that develops methods for storing, giving, organizing and analyzing biological data. Below are the list of important of bioinformatics applications. From this video, we are going to find protein sequence, secondary and tertiary structure and LR using PDB and search the necrotide sequence using EM. Okay, let's go to PDB. PDB is a protein data bank. It is a repository for three-dimensional structure data of large biological molecules such as protein and nucleic acid. We go to PDB website. From the home page, we can choose any molecule that we are interested with. Here is the PDB home page. You can scroll down and you can search for any articles that we are interested with. Here and many more. For example, we choose article on influenza B virus neuroamidase can synthesize its own inhibitor. We can also choose the article using the code of the molecule. As in here, the article's code is 1NSC. You can put the 1NSC in the search toolbar and search for it and we can still get the same result. The homepage of PDP have several basic search such as summary, 3D dimension, sequence and many more. Okay, to search for protein sequence, we need to go to the display file and click on FASTA sequence. It gives the result of protein chain for the molecules. 1NSC have two chains which are 1NSC A and 1NSC B. So here we can choose the 1NSC A and this is the protein sequence of 1NSC A. Select the sequence and right click to copy and save the sequence in other document. As mentioned above, we use the NBL EBI to search for the protein sequence. EBI stands for European Bioinformatics Institute. Click for service and further click on service. And further click on DNA and NRNA to search for the protein sequence. And then it will give you several results. And and you need to search tool for sequence analysis. The tools is embossed tools. Click on it and choose sequence translation. Okay. And then it will give you the two result. Choose protein sequence by translation. Choose embossed first back transect back translation protein to the protein sequence. Click on Launch back sequence and paste the protein sequence you copied before from PDB uh, and click on submit. Wait for a while and you can get your nucleotide sequence. This is your nucleotide sequence. Right click to copy and you can save in any document. Okay, let's go back to our PDB website of our chosen molecule which is an influenza B virus neuromidase can synthesize its own inhibitor. Click on the sequence to get the secondary structure and then click on sequence and the SSP and it will show you the sequence and secondary structure for 1NSC chain A this year. Go back to the previous web page. Okay and you scroll down and you can see the image of secondary structure. It's colorful, pink and yellow. Below it shows the description of the secondary structure image. Okay, you can right click on the image and save the image in your document using any document file you want. Now go back to previous PDB page and click on display demo to see the secondary structure in 3D dimension. Okay, here the secondary structure, you can move to left, right, top and bottom. So click on 3D view on the basic search bar of the page to search and quaternary structure in 3D. You 
can move the structure to the left and right, zoom in or zoom out of the structure. The Reticure search tool enables you to find the Reticure review of the molecule from PubMed website, which is already been linked. You can copy your article's title and paste it on the search PubMed abstract tools and search it and this is the result. Okay, now you can either download PDB file, view PDB file or view in PD with channel. You can choose to display the abstract and this is the abstract from PubMed abstract. Here is the background, result and also conclusion of the journal. Okay, that's all from us. Thank you for watching our presentation and we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.